Hey Paranormal Explorers, it's Exploring Harley. First and foremost, thank you for the new subscribers and for those who are subscribed, thank you again. Thank you very much. And if you're not, please do so. Click on the subscribe, it's free. And watch what you you watch, what you like. Sorry for the cars. And second of all, don't forget, sk1a.com, www.sk1a.com, the Exploring Harley line, and everything on the shop, one dollar goes to the Pendulum. The Pendulum is a foundation, a, a veteran-based foundation and a veteran help in, uh, yeah, <laughs> foundation that helps veterans, all right? So, that being said, today, I'm I will talk to you about the story of, well, this lady right here. And before I talk to you about this lady, I'm gonna show you where she used to be. All right, I'll come back. Stay there. Or come. So there you are. There was, there's the place that she was. So now let me tell you the legend of that grandmother. The legend says that a warrior princess, a native princess, fell in love with a warrior. And that warrior was a great hunter. So the chief wasn't really good with that marriage. So he told the warrior, bring me back a canoe full of furs and she will be yours. She will be yours. So they went up on the rock and promised themselves eternal love. But the warrior never came back from his hunt, for his, from his great hunt. No, probably passed away somewhere. But the legend says that she was grieving so much, she never remarried. She stayed true to her love all her life. And when she died, the lightning struck the rock and carved the grandmother into it. Well, that's the first story. The other story is she was so sad that she went up on the rock. She died there and, well, <laughs> she became the rock herself. herself. Well, that's the legend of the rock. Let's go back up and finish the story. It's pretty impressive, right? So, around 1912, 1914, George Cahoon, the director of the mill, decided to move the rock because, well, he wanted more power for the mill. So he decided to build a dam, an hydroelectric dam. So, he mandated one of his engineers dismantle the rock, rock by rock. There's a picture of it. Pretty impressive, right? So. They dismantled the rock, rock by rock, and decided to rebuild it right here. Here's a picture of what it would look like back then with all the rocks scattered around. Kind of, kind of a big puzzle, right? So, at the end, when the grandmother was all dismantled, well, sadly, the engineer fell into the river and drowned. They, ne they never found his body. And he thought that he had his, the plans to rebuild the grandmother, well, in his pockets. It wasn't so. Because at the inauguration, they wanted something from the engineers to be there to signify his, his participation with the dismantlement and the rebuilding of the grandmother. No, what they found is, well, the plans because George Cahoon had to hire 
another engineer to replace him and they didn't have the plans. So you had to think to rebuild everything up. So that's kind of impressive too and kind of a spooky story and it tends with the, the legend times kind of side that the grandma of the well, she's looking down, still waiting for her, her bow, her warrior, her hunter. So I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time on Exploring Harley. And please, if you're not subscribed, subscribe and give a like. That helps and well, that keeps me going and tell you good stories about, well, legend and spooky stuff. Probably it's going to be something spooky next time.